Will we get unstuck? I swear they can't drive forward. Oh, you're getting buried. Jeez. Not good. You never know what in the sand you can randomly get stuck if the sand is soft, and uh, that's exactly what happened over there. I think he's pulling out the max tracks. I'm gonna run over and see if he needs help, and we'll see if we can get him out. Because if you high center, it's gonna take a while. <laughs> so hopefully he's not high center. He's in the garage, get the max tracks. Pretty stuck. As usual at the sand dunes. <laughs> we keep coming back though. Keep coming back for more. There she ain't stuck. Can you believe this? <laughs> we always do this like where we will go out and film and we're just gonna try to get beauty shots and then it turns into some like recovery adventure. Like if you guys saw that um, winter one with the Romer one, when we got stuck in the snow, that wasn't planned. We weren't supposed to get stuck in the snow, but then it turned into like a two episode adventure. So George's going over there to film. I'm gonna stay here on the drone and see if we can get him out with the max tracks. He's taking them off right now. Just throw them on the ground. So let's see if we can get him out before the sun goes down. It's about to peek behind the mountain over there. So this is the Jayco. Why do we have a Jayco? Well, you'll see. Here's a real question. Will they get unstuck before the drone battery dies? It's got 43% and the battery's draining pretty quick. It's probably got five to 10 minutes left. If they can do it before the drone battery dies, we'll call it a success. Here's another thing about Little Sahara. It's huge dunes, people come out here and recreate. It is so freaking windy here and with all the sand, it's not pleasant. Keep digging the hole. Let's see what they're doing. Yeah, it looks like Max tracks are out. He's pretty buried. Cause it's just unpredictable. You think it's gonna be fine. It feels sturdy and the next thing you know, you hit a soft patch and the trailers sometimes are kind of like anchors and they kind of weigh down your back tires. And uh, yeah. We got stuck in the sand. Yeah. Look, it's like the beach. Look how soft it is. It's so pretty. We're in the Great Sahara Desert. Should we put them both in the back? What a beautiful place to get stuck. I know, right? As the sun is going down. Look at this, look at this. The sun is setting over the mountain. 38% on the drone battery now. I'm not gonna move it too much just to kind of save the battery. So it looks like we got Shane, okay? He's wedged those max tracks right under there. Good form. He is pretty wedged. So he's gonna to try to back up onto these max tracks, it looks like. Because you can see the paws, it's not, it's not deep in the sand, it's just the truck. Okay, here we go. 29% on the drone. At about 10%, I had to start to bring it back, but. Okay, so he moved, he spit out the max tracks a little bit, but there's progress happening. Where's the max track? Do you see it? <laughs> Where is this one? Is it under? Holy crap. Look where this one is. I'm like completely. Do you see it? I can't even find it. <laughs> Look how. Sent up six feet under. It literally did. I can't even find. Know how soft the sand is. <laughs> Dude, I don't even know where it went. It's completely. The thing is completely buried. Oh, there it is. No. Oh! Here we go again. Battery warning. Uh oh. Once you get to 25%, drones will just start beeping at you. Okay. Oh, oh. So ignore the beeping because you can't stop it. Can't get 
Looks like you can't get the max tracks out of the sand, even though the tire's not even on it. Maybe the tire is on it still. Look at the view, though. It's a great view. Aircraft will go to the oh, no, no, no. 20% now. I'm not far away from the drone, so I can I can wait until it's at 10% before I land it. 17%, I don't think they're gonna get it recovered in time. But I think this method is, will work. I think it will work. Okay, 11%, I gotta land. I'll maybe just change the battery and be ready to go, because if it gets out, then we can go again. Copy that. I can stop now. Whoa, George cheering. He got out. He got out. <laughs> He's free. He failed. I didn't fail. What are you talking about? I had a bet on you that you'd finish before the drone battery died. Oh, really? Barely missed it. I made it. I made it. Yeah, Max Tracks for the win. Thank you, Paws. They come on with all the Paws come with Max Tracks. And honestly, I did a walkthrough on Saturday, and the guy's like, You use Max Tracks a lot. I'm like, Honestly, I don't use them that often. It feels like a, a rope or a ratchet. A ratchet strap is always more convenient. But hey, in the sand. For this situation, oh my goodness, these are buried. This was great. I was completely stuck and I got out with the Max Tracks. I don't think these are Max Tracks. These are an Australian brand, but similar to Max Tracks. Yep, Australian made. Thank you, Maynard. Thank you, Paws, for giving us or for saving our lives. We're in the middle of the desert. We could have died. Oh my gosh, we're alive. <laughs> Sand is the devil. <laughs> Rocks rivers not a problem but freaking sand you want to learn more you can head down to the bottom and click there's a link down there in the bottom and it will send you to a brochure give you specs information pricing on the trailer also there's a 3d walkthrough and you can be able to kind of walk around and see the floor plan if you go down to the link below you can see all that information there will also be a full length video in that link below so go check it out and hopefully we'll see you soon bye bye